we, we're asking this question about if the margins are razor thin, if profitability is something that Amazon continues to push off, uh, what should we make of this business? Yeah, I, I think Amazon, I think the way to look at Amazon is this. They've got at their core and it, the world's best vending machine, right? It is low cost, efficient way to buy products and 60% of their retail sales come from that vending machine at basically no margin or maybe even losing a little bit of money. But around that, they've built the marketplace, right, where businesses are uh, getting distribution on the Amazon platform and that marketplace operates at pretty healthy margins and will continue to. And, and they leverage that core business to then build Amazon Web Services, to build the fulfillment operations, to get to leverage into the con higher margin content businesses. So I think the fact that the overall entity is low margin is you know, there for us all to see, but that the truth is, at the core of this is this incredible customer acquisition engine that gets to great scale and they're, they are leveraging that. And if you look at, you know, a few years ago, the marketplace represented 30% of their total uh, retail GMV. Today it's probably 40% growing. And I think that higher margin business, as you see over the looking out into the future, is the reason why the stock obviously trades at such a remarkable premium. So, so they're in a position, you think, to flip a switch. We hear that a lot. People talk about that with Amazon. <laughs> you know, dial back on the costs and, 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 and turn things up, whether it's with price changes or just, you know, finding new revenue opportunities. The same way right now with Apple, people are wondering if they can, you know, flip a switch and generate more revenue from, say, their services business. Yeah, I, I wouldn't describe it as flipping a switch, actually. What I would describe it as they've got a core and they're leveraging that core. And they're, they're because they've have this incredible customer acquisition machine, they can now leverage it to move into higher margin businesses. I think one of the, the Achilles heel in that is the, the businesses that are in the marketplace generally can't build their brands there, right? They're treated like a commodity just like all the other products inside the Amazon marketplace, right? When I talk to uh, brands that get distribution there, they're frustrated because they can't actually build their brands. So I think, while I think their customer acquisition engine is the best on the planet, it's a great value prop. You know, it's a vending machine for great products at cheap prices that, that arrive yeah. really quickly. But I, I, I suspect there is some challenge for them over, uh, looking long term at that, at that marketplace. So really quickly before we go, take us inside your world. What is it like competing with Amazon? Because we always tell this story of it's tough. I mean, what's it like from where you sit? Right. So, you know, at OpenSky, we are empowering small businesses to uh, build and grow their, their audience by operating in a social shopping environment. And what the reaction from the small businesses on OpenSky is, this is, you know, e if eBay and Facebook had a baby, it's OpenSky, and they're pretty excited about that. So we, you know, we feel really bullish about the future of our platform.